morning. What's good about it? What do you mean, what's Hi. good about good it? Good morning. Fantastic. I've been up since quarter to six this morning. Police are on their way. How are you going? Police are on their way. So what do you think that means? I slept through it. Glad you did. I don't know how. Cat didn't. I didn't, slept didn't, through it. The whole I, neighborhood didn't. Well, I slept through it and I was like... You were so I actually tired. woke up. You know what I said to him? Yeah. I woke up. I said, oh... Oh, it's good to get a good sleep because I slept through. <laughs> and I said, um, oh, they actually shut up last night for the first time in a while. And um, the cat might just look and Sir just said, oh, the police are on their way. You've missed a lot. Missed huge amounts. Apparently I missed a lot. They are attacking each other. They are screaming their heads off. They have slammed so many doors. Apparently I think the, the doors are off the hinges. Involved. The music, music was involved. But the music was ramped up to try and hide their voices. But was they, it still, good music? they still hate each other. They're still feeling abused. They're taking advantage of. They want someone to go. Oh my no, the music was shit, but it was just loud. Oh damn. Really loud. <laughs> anyway, right, so they're drama. still they ha they're still having the same drama. One's using the other one. Probably is for accommodation. Um that's you know, what the government did to society is not saying that it's an excuse for her. I mean, people should never use people for accommodation. That is on them. But I'm just saying, the government's caused the housing crisis. So, of course, this makes this kind of situation happen, right? Could be true. Could be the truth of their drama. But, nonetheless. Anyway, so that was kind of, it was funny. Because it was like, I was absolutely confident that it was like, we finally got some sleep. They must have been too tired to be up all night, like drinking and slamming doors. And, and I was like, that was nice. And then he's like, the police are on their way. And I'm like, okay, that, that's great. And apparently they were very responsive, you know, as in like, yep, okay, we're on our way. They're, they're known to police. So it's just a matter of countdown. But all these extra complaints, luckily, even as much as they are disturbances to our daily living, which is not good, um, it will hopefully just speed up getting them out, basically, legally, because they are causing mayhem. Like, it sounds like the way they did it this time is this wouldn't have just affected us. This would have affected a lot of people, like probably the whole complex. So hopefully others have also mentioned the complaint because that helps us too. But anyway, we've got an appointment today. So I've got to get in the shower because it's hair washing day today, which uh, means I'm going to have to blow dry it because out there, freezing cold. cold. Suddenly it's winter. We had summer just pop on in, show its head and give us a taste and we got all excited. Today. And then it was like, storm's coming. And I was like, what? Storm's coming? It's hot. Like, it's, it's, it's getting to that, you know, real spring feeling and, you know, where you can feel it on your skin and you just go, oh, that's nice. That's lovely. I hear everyone's enjoying Kath and Kim in different countries. Welcome to some, what we would call, I mean, it's not my variety of Australian, but I relate to it as in... And it is very much East Coast based stuff. However, it is kind of funny. Like, um, things like um, going to the shops in Australia, to the shopping centre is a big deal. I've got Kath and Kim do. That's kind of true. Um, Fountain Gate. Not a real thing actually in Melbourne, but anyway. Um, but what else is very Australian about it? Oh, so many things. Our budgies have had their cage clean this morning. They've the been cage is clean. They are very excited. Happy they, chickens. They are very happy chickens. They are. They are chittering and She's chattering. They always each other. got her eye on That's me. Like, such gossipers. Oh, they sometimes go <laughs> to each other. It's like little so cute. so cute. Yes, I know. So anyway, you can come with us for the for the drive, and you can come with us on our trip today, and. If I actually get through the appointment and I'm well enough, we may even pop past the shops to get some shopping, shopping. done. So, 
you know, it's one of those days, there's nothing else to do. Otherwise, I would actually say, like, maybe down to the beach and just kind of, <laughs> yeah, not on a today is what I'm saying. If it was a sunny day and a springy day, as in spring, You're missing the beach, I you? would have, <clears> I am, <throat> um, or I would have just gone somewhere nature because what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to work out, would you like Hello Kitty? Do you want pink? I want plain Do pink. you want rainbows? I want plain pink, please. Plain pink today. Okay. Sheet change day. Sheet change day. Oh, I'm going to miss my burgers and cookies and, 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 and pizza Donuts. and cheese and donuts. There's the pink donut there. Can you see the pink donut? Yep. I know. My sheets are cool. That's Gabby Stoll's house. Yeah. No, I only like her because she's got lots of cats. I know nothing about her. Okay, I'm not a kid. I don't watch the cartoon. But she's got lots of cats. She looks kind of like me. You're in, just because she's got she's cats. She's got a lot of pink on her stuff. She's got very artistic design on her thing. So I thought, yeah, why not? Absolutely, I'm in. Um, so, and I've got my pyjama Mickey TV, Mickey T on with my, okay, these pyjamas, which is Minnie Mouse. So Minnie Mouse. Oh, is that Mickey? Is that Mickey? That's Mickey. That's so Mickey. Funny. There's no bow. Okay. And there's Minnie. Sorry, Minnie. And I've also got Daisy. There's Daisy. Um, You're very so Disney -themed. If Daisy's watching me out there, my friend from school, that's her nickname. That's not her real name. <laughs> I won't out your real name unless you want me to. But she, she might be watching. Or she might be too busy to watch this particular video. But anyway... <laughs> my my friends have a life because they're not disabled <laughs> they have jobs and things but that's just as hard because jobs are hard but anyway <laughs> um so i've been watching some youtube but i really must get in the shower now so i'm gonna go do that then i'm gonna have to find some winter clothes because it's obviously freezing is it freezing out there it, it's actually it is cold it is cold, Absolutely. yeah. So I've got to dress like it's winter again. Yay. And I was just getting ready to go. I was looking at some of my dresses going, ah, oh, I'll be able to wear you guys soon. That was a bit premature, honey. I ruined it. Even I was looking forward to like, you know, the summery shoes and everything, but no. Anyway, so join us today. Showered. Look at me. So, Sir's having his shower. <coughs> I got my aircon on to keep me cool because I get hot from the showers. This autonomy is fun, isn't it? So I can't regulate my temperature, so I've got the aircon on on a cold day. Soon I'm going to be freezing because my hair's wet, but I'm going to blow dry that because I'm going out. If I stay home, I don't have to. I just have to put a beanie on or something. I might try and find a hat actually to put on <sighs> just to keep my myself. <coughs> I've got this tickle warm. I thought I'd chew on a chewy. Having dry mouth the last couple of days. So anyway, annoying. Downstairs trolls have been very active. Continuing on, it's now 9.30 and it's still going. I haven't heard much. I was in the shower when a lot was going on apparently. Sir so informed me. I was like, interesting. But one of our providers is on site. So she would have heard it. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have I love hair washing day I don't love the experience of doing it I feel a little bit oh, that was a lot for me um, but I feel fresh when my hair is washed I like it I would choose long hair wouldn't I <laughs> it's such a significant disability that's hard to manage my self care and I still want to have long hair hey me it's an autism thing. I don't like change. I, I could easily just cut it off, but it's change. I've never, I've never had long-term short hair. I, can't, I couldn't do it. I'd probably still be like, is this not familiar? And then where's my stim? This is a natural grabbable stim thing. Okay, it's easy. It's easy. I like it. So, it's clean. And this colour that I did, this one is actually um, stayed in because my natural hair is ash brown. 
really. And only in the photosensitivity of like, sense, if I go in the sun, I do actually get a bit of a golden brown. Um, but I had a lot of red in it because of being blonde before and I had to go through the red phase, red brown phrase, phrase, phase. But um, it is called um, fudge. So you can get it from Price Attack in Australia, if you're in Australia. Price Attack sells brand called, hair colours called fudge. Like the chocolate. Or, it's not really a chocolate, some fudge can be caramel. But anyway, fudge. And um, basically, it's lasted a lot longer. Because with all the antibiotics I'm sometimes on, I have to use that really tough medicated shampoo. <laughs> I know chickens, and that can sometimes take out my colour, and I just have to put up with that because it's part of my medical. You know, there's always a side effect of everything medical that you do. You take this tablet, then you go take that tablet, and then you take this tablet, then you go take that tablet because you took that tablet. Anyway, my hair survives through it, so I'm just saying. And it also, I don't have much grey, but I'm not seeing my greys come back. Not that that bothers me. I actually want them to come in so I've got like natural streaks but at the moment I'm just I'm a bit of a late starter I'm 50 and the grayness is only just really starting to kick in this last maybe building up to a year but it's just in one or two locations and it's not even so I was like can we just be even I actually suit gray hair because it's already happened accidentally mm. I was dyeing my hair blonde um, did a lot of research and I'm talking five to six hours on how to become like basically a, uh, what do you call it, hair, hair colorist? <laughs> because you don't want to ruin your hair, right? And I, I achieved it. When I used to go buy the hair dye from like, what do they call those salons then? Um, just Cuts and they'd sell my hair colors. And I'd go in and they'd go, oh, I love your hair. How did you go from, because they could see my roots. How'd you go from that dark to that blonde? I said, told them all the steps and they're like, oh, I didn't think it was achievable. And I said, well, there's a, there's, you gotta go through this step and this step and this step. It became a bit of a special interest. <laughs> and so this hairdresser was fascinated with what I had to say. And I'm like, don't you learn this? And she's like, oh, you know, cause I'm a colorist. You know, she says, not every hairdresser is. So just know that. Not every hairdresser in Australia anyway, is a colorist. Most of them are just general hairdressers. A colorist is actually another speciality again. Mm. So if you want a nice collar, check out someone who studied the extra thing, which is how to be a hairdresser colorist. I don't know what the name of the certification is, but I'm just waiting for my gray to be even so I can be like cool, you know, for 50s. Okay, I know you some young ones are going, what? what's wrong with you I'm 50 so if it looks like you know a bit of streaks and things it will be great it'll add like I won't have to get some not that I need any I can't be bothered um, I used to get into that stuff but you get to an age where you go I just don't care <laughs> which is normally around mid 40s you start to go well do I really care nah autism I've never really cared I used to ride around the farm in a dress, a jumper over the top, tracky pants underneath, my gum boots, and normally like one of the adults' socks so that they were extra warm and um, run around the farm like that. Fairy wings, if I had them at the time, I used to make the daisy chain things. My um, auntie, my auntie Sue taught me that. That was hard. I used to run around with like little daisy thing. Like the real ones. You know how you just buy them these days? Well, there's real ones. Did you know that? Little House on the Prairie. I grew up on that. I know that's really old. But I grew up on that. Because we were living on the farm while I was watching that with my grandparents. It's actually quite funny. It's like, yeah. I always used to relate to it for that reason. Because my grandparents are very conservative too. So... It all suited the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, so I feel good. I'm showered. Um, I just have to really rest it out. I've got to blow dry my hair, like I said, because I'm going out. It's only 
14 degrees outside that Celsius if you're in a different country. Um, so for us, for me, that's freezing, okay? To me, that is freezing. Like I've got to die freezing. Like I, I need to stand in front of a fire, a real one. I miss the real ones. Don't say everything's fake now. I miss the open fires. I used to like, um, when we first had our first house, we had a tile fire and I, I used to really enjoy like building my little pile of stuff and all the kindling shoved in there and the newspaper and then your little fire starter in the middle and it's fun. It's actually really fun. <laughs> you feel a sense of satisfaction. It's like, the fire's on, you're welcome. I did it, yeah. Except for um, it wasn't funny um, once, and I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure it was my family, not not a story of someone else's family. But in Denmark, someone I'm pretty sure it was my family put money during the summertime, which in Denmark, Western Australia, there really isn't much of a summertime. They put money in the tile fire. Mhm. Mm this is when money was paper. I mean, it would have burnt if it was plastic anyway. But it doesn't matter really. But paper, as you can imagine, just it's gone. Bye. <laughs> it's probably a federal pence. <laughs> anyway, this uh, money was stashed in there and um, someone lit the first fire and um, someone said, Hey, what did you, what did you do? Wh what? I don't know how much money was in there. Don't hide your money in a tile fire or an open fire or anything like that because someone else might go light the fire. Bye bye money. Don't do the freezer thing. All the robbers know that. <laughs> I don't know where you would hide money actually. I don't have any to hide. But let me think. I bet you people use pot plants, don't they? In the dirt. Yeah, they probably do that. Um, Plastic money now. Then again, it might get a bit. No, you could clean it off if it gets a bit mouldy. Because you've got to clean your fish tank regularly. Um, freezes out. Freezes out. Forget about that. Anyway, this is getting a bit philosophical. So, next time you see me, I'll probably be in the car on my way because that's the only next thing that's actually an action thing. Because in the meantime, it's only 9:30. Um, even though I slept well last night, it's like a catch up. I'm tired. So I'm going to like to have a very slow morning because I deserve it. It's been rather stressful, hectic, and I don't know what's brewing down there, but this could go on all day and all night. I don't know. So batting down the hatches is what I'm doing. And Sir's done. I am done. I have cleaned the shower. I've cleaned he the cleaned the shower. Everything's done. I only just said, hey, the shower's due to be cleaned, and then he just does it. Okay. It's actually kind of my favourite thing to do, but I don't have the energy. I love cleaning showers. No, Maybe no. it's the water thing. It's probably the water thing. No. Anyway, so, and you're sore. My elbow's starting to hurt again. That's a bit quick. You only just had the injection. I know. I've had a cortisone injection. That's the fourth. One now, and you're already one feeling the pain and it's been and about two weeks. I wear a brace obviously for doing any sort of lifting work or even just sleep at night so it doesn't get twisted out of position but it's actually starting to hurt, tinging. Hurt well then they need to operate. To so yeah, we're well, lucky. I'm hoping you're going to see an orthopedic Back to your GP. Week, so oh that's right, you are. About my knee, about my elbow, I'm falling apart. Well you, you are old, we're in our 50s Jesus, you know. steady on about this old thing. We're old. You? I just talked oh. about grey hair, okay? Happens. Oh, right. We're not old. We're no, you ne you're never gets. old in here. That's the good thing, guys. Nothing changes in here. It's just you got to put up with all the other changes in your body. That's all. It's no, it's no big deal. It's actually quite um, getting getting old. It's actually quite what would I call it? Um, freeing. Youngins. It's very freeing. So anyway, I'll see you on the travel in the car. And if there's anything interesting to show you on the way, then I'll show you. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you can see I'm dressed. Sir is here laughing. Why are you laughing, sir? Oh, boy, didn't I just have a fun conversation with a plumber? We have a third plumber. Hello, oh, no, no, honey. 
Fourth plumber. Ah, oh, fourth. Keep up. Okay, fourth plumber. For the bath To saga. put in the unique bath as disability. These are D NDIS people that are like companies that are NDIS approved. It's like, learn about disability. And also, it's like, broaden your horizons on a new thing. And he's like, oh, I thought I'd just ring, you know, sir, um, before I ring the company. And I'm just going, mm -hmm. no. So I think you should ring the company of the bath first to get the, it's all about the taps and the, and the head thing, head shower thing. It's all about that. It's like, maybe ring the company. That's a good place to start. Cause we are not plumbers and we're also not the Windsor um, bath company. Okay. I wish I was, cause I'd have a lot of money probably, wouldn't I? Hmm. I think it's about a $5,000 bath. So anyway, the bath. If anyone's been watching us long enough, it's, the wrong, it's probably the wrong bath. You yeah. all know. He actually, this, Send it back. this plumber actually said that. It's the wrong bath. No, it's just you have the wrong brain understanding of what the fuck's going on right now. Not his fault, but just saying, like. Anyway, <laughs> the bath. Is a continuing saga. We've had karaoke going on downstairs and a bit of door slamming. I think that's the new musical chairs that kids play now. Don't you think? I think so. Yes. So it seems to be the new game of the day. Let's slam the door over and over all day long. Let's turn up the music and then yell above the music. Yay, yay, yay. Crazy. But I... I I think the toddlers have fallen asleep because they've been quiet for about 40 minutes now. I'm pretty convinced they've fallen asleep because they did wake the sir up this morning early. So they've been awake early. I, I was lucky I slept through. I was like, after two, four a.m. mornings, I was like, I'm... <sighs> I don't even remember falling asleep. I just remember watching Star Trek. That's, that's my before. It's my new routine. Do you know when you change your routine? It's a big deal, right? Anyway, my new nightly routine is watching Star Trek as I fall asleep. But the problem is I enjoy it so much and it makes me feel so at home because I used to watch it as a teenager, right? That was my thing to watch um, in secret because back then girls weren't meant to be watching it. So, shh. I still say it like that, I shouldn't, but you know, there's no shame anymore apparently. But anyway, I enjoy it, so I'm watching and I'm trying to listen and get, catch back up to where I am, and then I fall asleep every time. Anyway, tonight I'll catch up again, won't I? Yeah. That's good to me. So, anyway, we will be heading off for a drive at some point, but I just thought I'd let you know that I um, had another lovely phone call about the bar. What a saga. <laughs> Anyway, it's still very cold, 16 degrees at Celsius in case you're in a different country. I know I keep saying that like a robot, but I am autistic. Okay, um, repetition's part of my problem and I was going with it! Ah! Rebelling. That's my way of rebelling. Because I, I was raised, you know, like, even as, you know, when even just when you're a little girl, it's like, sit like a lady. Okay, it's like I'm just a kid, so it'd be a kid, but no. So now I'm a bit rebellious because you know I'm 50. It's fun. I'm the equivalent in the 22 realm to being 90, 80, 90 in your realm if you don't have a syndrome. Um, so I'm allowed to do these things and be naughty. When I used to work in a nursing home, they were all naughty. Except for the good ones, I mean, <laughs> that's funny that, except for the good ones. No, the ones that just didn't seem to have a personality at all, you know those ones? You know those ones in the younger years too, there's, there's just no personality, right? They just sit there and there's, there's, there's nothing. 
but majority, like, their personalities come back. I swear they go back to their teens, you know, like, to regain their power because they're stuck in a nursing home, right? So it's like, don't you tell me what to do, young lady. And then next minute they're going, oh, thank you. I'd love a cup of tea. Nice. Thank you. That's just nice. So it doesn't take much. You just have to offer a cup of tea. And I tell you what, they're your best friend. So, um, and when you offer an extra cookie, you're even a, even a bestest more, friend. More friend. Just tell me what? who, for a doctor's appointment, has to print out more than twenty dollars <laughs> worth of photocopies. How much? Has to go through and twenty dollars. Highlight little that's tabs. Thirty dollars in photocopies. Have everything this ready week. just for the one single appointment. This is going to be an hour of fun, isn't it? That's thirty dollars this week in in photocopying. <sighs> Screw you, health department. Okay, you should be doing this. Mm -hmm. You should be getting your stuff together. And you should be printing these things off or sending them around town and, and getting all your worksies done. Because we're very tired and we're very sick of doing everybody else's job. Because we don't actually get a pay. But at least I'm no longer YouTube's intern. I've been an intern just until September. Daily videos from January 1st onwards. It's been exhausting. Okay, but it's worth it. Don't worry about that. You guys make it. You guys make it worth it for me. But I'm just saying, they're kind of like, you know, they make your work. They make your work, work, work. They make your work, work, work. So anyway, I'm just grateful to be into the next phase. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of a. It's, it's like a another goal that I'd set, I guess. I don't really do New Year's resolutions. It was just, the timing was just, it was like, let's just start at the beginning of the year. So that was an accident, a happy accident. So basically, um, other goals. What's my recent goals? Oh my goodness. Is that my memory or am I literally like, no, that's right. Well, I guess the goal's been settling in here. I've redesigned everything. I've replaced things that I wanted replaced, including furniture. You saw that, some of you. Massive change in our lounge room. We got rid of a 20-year-old, massive, big, our family piece, which was like, you know, very sentimental because there's history in it, right? But we got rid of that, so that was, yeah, a big change. But, um... Maybe I need to set some goals just for fun. But anyway, I don't really need to set goals. I have so much to do. I have a Christmas tree mold I must get done. Because even though it's like, what do they call it? I'm looking at my Halloween decorations. Halloween coming up first. I'm just thinking Christmas. I'm like Christmas menu. I mean, it's a roast. It's not that hard, is it? It's a roast. <gasps> wow. Fancy that. In Australia, it's always roast lamb. Stop it about the lambs, okay? Just don't think about it. Just thank the lamb for it when you sit at your table. Okay, I know that makes it worse. Okay, I just made it worse. I'm sorry. Please just accept my sincere apologies. But it is just the way life is. When I was explained the cycle of life, like the, the sorry the food chain when i was a little kid yes i i cried a lot mm -hmm. um i started to to the point where sometimes the sheep would fall through the trucks and one day we picked one up my uncle my brother and i in the back seat with this sheep and this sheep has a little ear tag on and it's flopping around the back seat and we're trying to meet the truck driver in town to say oi you missed one, one kind of escaped. And I was like, I, I said, no, Uncle Andrew, we could, we could keep this one. And I'm trying to hold on to it. I'm in the middle, right? Cause I'm the small one. The small one always used to get put in the middle. I don't know why. We could be the missile going through the front windscreen. Like, really? But anyway, I'm in the middle and I'm wrestling this sheep cause I'm trying to hug it. Hello, can I name you? And I wanted to take it home because look, we didn't have a sheep. We had a horse, three dogs, geese, chickens, 
We have lots of fairy wrens, but they're not ours, they're everyone's. We had bunnies used to sit on the hills, so I used to always get ready for the bunnies on the hills in the evening. But no, we did not have a sheep. So I said, well, we can keep this one. We're not getting a sheep, And they honey. said, but well, they, they can't, we can't. We have to give it back. I said, no, they won't know if we just drive off. And they're like, but the tag on his ear, they'll know. We can take it off. We're not getting a sheep. Anyway. If I ever won Lotto and get a hobby farm, I'm getting a sheep. And a llama. And because a then you don't have to mow the lawn as much. And it's another friend. They are cute. They are very cute. I'm telling you. They are like, if you if you hand raise any animal, including cows. I love the cows. We used to have many conversations, deep and meaningfuls. I mean, they look like they understood. I don't know. Maybe there's a understanding, whatever. Helped me anyway. I could talk to animals easy rather than people, but that's the autism. Okay, so anyway, I'll see you on the trip. All right, so we're heading off. On the road again. We're in the car. I do want to film in the car park because there's a lot of people around. So I thought, respect, <laughs> respect. R-E-S-P-C-T. So, I'm shattered, tired, and I've just got on the road, just begun. The oh, road has just begun. We haven't even started. I wish that was my life. It hasn't even I'd begun. Hate to see what you go back in time. Stats are, but we're not measuring this trip because you know what? What's the freaking point? Get the same <laughs> results every time. <laughs> if you do the same thing and you get the same results time and time again, don't do it. There's something in that. Well, unless you want those results, I get. We don't need it. We've got so many That's results saying the same thing. If you want those results, keep doing it. <laughs> no, uh, it depends on what it is, but for, for me, it's like there's no point in measuring it. It'll just say the same thing. Yeah. It's broken. Your <laughs> oxygen's you're, broken. You're, you're broken. Your heart's broken. You're broken. I mean, I am missing chromosomes, so yeah. <laughs> I'm like a puzzle, right? And God just decided, you know what? We're just going to throw a few of those pieces away. You don't no, need them. No, he didn't even add them in. He just, he just forgot. And it's a bit like the rest of us maybe, who's trying to, who try to put the puzzle together. No, and we no, go, no. Maybe. What do we do? Maybe God like was having a bit of a dementia moment and forgot maybe. to put those pieces in me. Maybe. Could I be. I sorry. But the analogy is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know what it's like when yeah. you sit down and you try and build a, a puzzle. That's why you do get puzzles from off shops. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's just a tease. You're always missing two, three, four, seven pieces. Mm -hmm. You're missing forty to sixty jeans pieces. And um yeah. I know I should I should buy a puzzle and take all those pieces out that I'm missing. Yep. And Could call it the tw the twenty two Q puzzle. There you go. Maybe I could sell that to other 22 kilos. Maybe that's a good marketing thing to send to doctors. You send it in like a little envelope and it's got yeah. some puzzle pieces, mm -hmm. but it's missing some components. And you say, Put no, it no, together. No, just put it together. You'll be fine. You know what you're doing. You said happens. you know about Tree and Chicky, you know about all the missing puzzle pieces and what they can do, but no. But at least with the puzzle pieces, you could be like, well, I'm missing a pot plant over here and I'm missing a bit of grass over here. With the puzzle pieces, you'll know, you see? Smart. And even on those puzzle pieces, you're going to have that kind of thing. Like, yes, you what, is the, what affects us Tree and Chicky? Anyway, it would be a good thing, actually. Yes, but it would. I should buy a puzzle and frame it and leave out the amount that I'm missing. And when someone says, that's an interesting picture puzzle you put on the wall. Yeah, do you know what it means? What does it symbolize? Nah. And I'd be like, <laughs> I think that's where I get it from. What's Uncle that? Ray. Yeah. He always liked the joke that only he knew. And everyone would go, yep, only he knows. Just, just ignore him. Like, he's having a laugh, but only he knows the joke. That's me. Right? Because I take great pleasure in standing back and just watching the person go, so why is there missing so many pieces? And I'd just be like cracking up laughing. I just, I wouldn't want to tell them because it's just too much fun. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, maybe guess, <laughs> maybe, maybe have a guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just a family inherited weird thing, quirk. Anyway, I might do it though. I'm legit thinking of doing it. I'm actually, it's a craft project. I think it's a craft project. Hey, I've got nothing better to do. You can resonate right. over it as well. I'm just waiting for the tombstone. I'm joking. I'm Jesus. joking. I'm being dramatic. I'm Bit not. dramatic. I'm not. I'm not. Mm. We don't talk like that. Naughty.
No, um, no, but like, I think I might actually do that. Okay. I've got two puzzles at home. That's a good activity. One's a fairy one. But, don't, I don't but know it'll be about better. That. But no, it'll be better that still is. that you actually make a customized puzzle. So you choose something. So it might be the human body, or it might be the DNA um, double oh. helix, or something like that. And then. Well, that's actually yeah, a pretty good idea. The but double, double helix. helix I wonder if there is. Over the human body. Well, you'd have to check out eBay for you me put, and, and see a, if they're double helix. There's a program that actually makes um, jigsaw pieces over that. Oh. And then we can actually make it, cut it out, and take out go. the missing pieces. Yeah. Just, just saying. On the 22nd arm. On the long arm of the 22nd chromosome. So we could actually go down to the actual 22nd yes. level. You could actually level. very specifically tailor into that location. That's, that's too boring. I like to be more. Abstract. Creative and abstract. Okay. I want people to go. I'm more exact why is that puzzle missing so many pieces? I'll be like, it's still cool though, right? Because that's me, right? If you don't say it's cool, then I'm going to be offended. Because it's like, then you're saying that my existence is 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 not like I don't exist. I don't exist because I'm missing chromosomes, or well, I'm because I'm incomplete. <laughs> I shouldn't paradox. be here on this earth. No. People that look at a puzzle with missing pieces that will complain about, I do not think that of a human being, but it's a stretch, right? Just saying. Go with it. My creative brain says, do a puzzle with missing pieces of the amount of chromosomes that I'm missing. I'm going with that. Hi guys, so the appointment's oh. over. And what a long appointment that was. Yeah. Oh, Autism, you have to take it slow. But we got a lot done. Um, but boy was I emotional and I don't, know, I don't know where it came from except for just with my heart. I am very, very, um, you have a lot of things to be stressed about. Yeah, really, I do have a lot speeches. of genuine things to be stressed about. So at the end of the day, it's not fun. Um, so, but we got what we needed because my doctor's going on holiday for like five weeks which is a long time for a patient like me Scary, with everything honest. going on yeah. we kind of like are going oh i hope there's nothing that we're going to need in that time shouldn't be but like you never know right with these things that are coming up for us so anyway we're doing our long drive it's a very new part of perth that's long been built home. so long way home so we're driving in this, this is the new part, remember what's being built? Yeah. I would show you the front view, but um, it's big not big really big that exciting. Yeah. It's not exciting. But anyway, thanks for sharing my day. So this is a day of going to an appointment. And when I get home, you might see, I don't know, you might see another video of me. I'll probably be doing a haul or something. I think I, I think I need recovering. some. No, I need I need some creative stuff. Right. So I might do either a Master Chef, or okay. what haven't I done? There's there's a few down there that I haven't done in a while. Retro Master Chef. Well, I don't know. There's a couple of We've done around. a retro recently. We've done the Master Chef. Mm -hmm. What are the other ones called? You even? will find out. With Gosh, I can't remember. Well, you will find out in a video probably not long after this. Yeah. So, but anyway. Well, I'm hoping she's going to what rest a day. up personally because the day's out. What a day. Absolutely. And you know what? When okay. we get... Sorry? I'm just saying I hope you actually rest up, to be honest. Yeah, I need to. It's days like this. I mean, even last night, I think you had a seizure during the night. We're going to check the cameras up, so. when we get home. I said to him, I think I had a seizure. Yeah. I've got a... Um, also, actually, two ulcers, I think. There's two. There's Which one on one side and one on the other side. One's yeah. worse than the other. But, yeah, we're going to look at the cameras. But... Yeah, We're going to do some relaxing. Yes. Yep, relaxing would be a good idea. It's been a long day, lots of work, a lot of research, a lot of medical terminology. Oh, Goodness good me. Good research, though. Yes. He had some good research. Very important. All the yep. latest information Even on some the cardiology condition. from America. Thank you, Americans. You yep. guys rock. Well, You're been way ahead of us. There's so much very way new ahead. in the last one or two yep. years about 22 q Specifically. Syndrome. Thank goodness, hey? It's so important to keep up to date uh, with the latest research. You've got to be um, proactive in your health, guys. It doesn't matter what age, how mild your health is, no. or whether it's major like mine. Um, please take care of your health. That's sure. all my advice is don't ignore symptoms. Don't let doctors gaslight you. Always defend yourself. Always say, no, 
this is real, this help, is happening. Help to educate. They, they're not all on. experts in everything. Okay? Yeah. So give yes. them some patience, help Well, in educate, Perth, we don't have a 22Q right specialist, so that's... No, that, that would be nice. It's a drama yeah. because of it. Actually, but that's funny because anyway, that's the one thing yeah. that all the clinical recommendations are. Make sure you have you a 22Q have specialist. A specialist who is Why can't I zoom with Eastern Q. States? God, we're missing out here. No, but I could zoom with Eastern States. So that's what I'm going to ask. You're going to do the zoomies for. over the Eastern States. I'm going to ask. Off you go, it's go worth zoomies. Asking. Zoomies, zoomies. Oh, I get the zoomies every night. Zoomies. But what's your prediction for tonight? Because guess what? Like I said to you guys this morning, the natives are restless. The natives below us were very restless. Yeah. They were. They were. Oh, there was weird stuff going on. The, it sounds like angry there's karaoke. There's multiple staff on the standby. No, but it sounded like on. angry karaoke. It was almost like one of them was doing karaoke to piss off the other one. Yeah, that's what they do. Very about. interesting relationship. <laughs> anyway, thanks for following my day. Big thumbs up. Day comments, in the life questions below. Of someone with, you know, 22Q. Complex rare conditions. And if you've got something, it doesn't matter what it is, it could be a different name. It doesn't have to be the same. In any way, mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of you as well because this life, even though we don't have jobs, is a hard life and we go through a lot. Um, some nights we can't sleep because we're in pain, some days we can't oh, rest because we're in pain. Please share, don't so forget to let other people know, and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And see, see you in the next soon. video. Bye, guys. Bye.